So, you wanna know who's the best and worst champions in Paladins? Well, lucky for you, this is the right video for you. This is gonna be a tier list for best and worst champions. So, um, I just finished making the tier list. Um, look how long it is. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of explanation over here. So, I'm just gonna briefly explain each champion so this video doesn't take that long. We're also gonna start from tanks and then supports, flanks, and then damage. And of course, this is just my opinion, so do not take this personally. And we're starting with Ash over here. I'm gonna put Ash like around very good. In my opinion, she's a very solid tank. She has everything. She has a good shield. Her mobility is pretty good. She has like knockback, and her ultimate is pretty good. I would say. You can also play her like a main tank or an off tank, but in my opinion, she's better as an off tank. She's also not that hard to use, so um, we're a solid champion. Alice. Now, Alice is kind of hard to rank because it kind of depends on the player who's using Alice. Let's just assume you're like at least good enough with Alice, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in strong. It's kind of hard to rank him though, like I said, it's kind of, it just depends on the player, but he's just really good. If you know how to use him, he's just very strong. He's very annoying. His shield is one of the best shields as a tank because you cannot even destroy it. Here's ultimate is i would say not really the best but in some scenarios it could be really really good he's definitely hard to master though like you need to put so much time with alice beric i was gonna put beric in like strong but uh, you know what i will put him in very strong very new friendly champion as well if you're new to paladins he's really good i would say he deals quite a lot of damage his shield is pretty good his stats are also pretty decent there's not really like a bad talent all of them are pretty solid in my opinion he's a really good point tank i don't think he's a good off tank though he's literally good in in any ranked you can see him in bronze, you can see him in gold, you can see him in grandmaster. He's just very good, a very solid champion. Fernando. Fernando used to be like OP. I would say he's either around very good or strong. I'm gonna put him around strong maybe. I don't know. I feel like he just got nerfed so hard. Like he's not that good anymore. He's still very good. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like there's just better options out there. Like Beric for example or like Inara. If you use other talents though, he I don't think he's that good. I think he's only, I think he only has one good talent which is Aegis though. I feel like the other talents are more like having fun than actually trying to win with fernando but yeah he got nerfed a lot of times so i don't really think he's like that op anymore speaking of inara <laughs> dude inara is probably the best tank right now inara got buffed so um she's just so strong right now her mother's grace talent she has like if i remember correctly she has like 20 percent damage reduction like it's just crazy how tanky and how hard it is to kill inara now she has good cc her damage is not the best but you know it i mean it's decent she has a wall her ultimate is pretty solid over Oh, she's just definitely the best. She's just too strong in my opinion. Khan, I think Khan is actually around very good. Khan is a very strong off thing. You can easily kill someone with your ult with Khan. His damage is pretty good. His sustain is very good as well. And his ultimate is just a free kill. Every time you ult someone, it's just a free kill. Literally at the start of the team fight, you can just grab someone and kill them. So it's gonna be 5v4. Like, it's just too good. You cannot go wrong with Khan. He's, he's also not that difficult to use. Makoa. I'm gonna put Makoa... Uh, I would say strong. I would definitely say Makoa is fun and strong champion, but if you're like a Makoa specialist, if you're just one tricking Makoa or something, then you're gonna pop off with Makoa. The only hard thing about him is the hook. If you cannot land your hooks, then um, you might be a little useless with your team, but um, he has a good shield. You're basically giving like free food for your teammates, like you're hooking the enemy. Let's be honest, no one can challenge Makoa. Very solid champion, so I'm gonna put him in strong. Rom, now, I feel like Rom is a little bit of a double-edged sword. What I mean by that is like, he could be very good he could be very bad i'm gonna put him in good though and let me explain why he's only very very good if no one counters him if you don't have a stun for him if you don't have like a good damage for him he's gonna bully you in the game the problem with that he's easily countered you can buy resilience you can pick a champion that can like stun or like root also if you have like a good damage for example maybe like betty dredge i feel like shalan can also be really good because you, you can silence him he's just very easy to counter so if he's countered he's bad if he doesn't get countered he's really good it's just hard to rank him because it, it depends rookus i'm gonna say i would argue a good rookus player like if, if you're just a specialist of rookus he could be op but that's kind of hard to see i'll be honest i don't see a lot of like really good rookus players i'm gonna put him in very show you definitely need to put some time on him so you can be good with him he's a really solid off tank definitely not a point tank if you use rookus as a point tank i feel like you're 
kind of chore in the game. He's really good at dealing with supports and flankers. The only downside for him is that you can buy record for him and he's kind of hard to use. He's still very strong though. Terminus. Now, Terminus is my favorite tank of all time and sadly, he's the worst tank in my opinion. He did get buffed a little bit this patch and um, I don't think it's that good. Basically, every time you ult with him, it's like refreshing your your jumping ability the reason why he's not really the best because he's a melee champion it's kind of hard to get close with him and even if you get close and his shield is not really the best because a good player would just not shoot his shield he's good in some maps i would say like for example bright marsh he can be really good in there but uh, very situational pick there's just way better tanks out there than the terminus torval now torval just got buffed this patch and he's just cracked he's just so strong his shield is crazy you need to buy two items for this old man over here you need to buy resilience and wrecker and even though you have resilience and wrecker he can still be very annoying he can silence you he can shield his teammate he can shield himself his ultimate is very annoying so far this patch he's just demolishing everyone I i'm literally banning turvault in rank like that's how good he is yagoros now kind of same with wrong it's kind of easy to counter yagoros as well but i would definitely say yagoros is a little bit better than rom and yago has a lot more utility in my opinion she has a lot more going on for her she has good mobility her damage is pretty solid she can like scan the area her ultimate is pretty good even though you get countered with yago i think you can still kinda it's still playable she's definitely a lot stronger than rom in my opinion azan now azan is definitely a very solid off tank over here he has a good mobility he has a good damage he has a good sustain he's like a jack of all trade champion like he has everything he used to be op but he just got nerfed so much like he's not that op anymore I i'm still gonna put him in very strong because he's literally getting picked in ranked even in high ranked i can see him like getting picked so um he definitely deserved this spot and the last tank nyx now nyx i still cannot play nyx in rank so I, I cannot really tell if she's good or not and i don't even see a lot of nyx players so i'm i'm gonna leave her in good for now the only reason why nyx is good is because she has a really good sustain but other than that her shield is not really the best her damage is not the best her ultimate is pretty okay but overall i don't think she's that good like all she has is like a very sustained champion so this is my tier list for front lines now let's go for support now with Curvis, I don't really see that much Curvis. Gonna have to say good. Curvis is just mediocre right now in this patch. There's just way, way better supports out there than Curvis. His heals are pretty good. I mean, you can heal like a lot of people with your mark. His ultimate is one of the worst ultimates. I, I, I hate to say it. I've had this idea for Curvis ultimate. Kind of like Grok. His ultimate is like doing damage to the enemy and also doing heals to your allies. So whoever is like inside your ultimate rages, your allies are getting healed and enemies are getting damaged if, if they're inside it so i feel like that's a good buff for it i feel like it's a really good buff for his ultimate but so far i, I don't think he's that good freya is one of my favorite supports out there some might say she's like around very good but in my opinion freya is strong in the early game your heals are pretty good especially the new solar blessing the new solar blessing for fury is just too strong in the late game i don't think she's that good though but the thing is she's she just deals so much damage so even in the late game it's still fine her ultimate is one of the best support ultimates out there in my opinion like if your team is just really coordinated furious ultimate is too strong her damage is pretty good her beam is really good like everything about her is just too good i think she's very strong she's like a hybrid support she can do damage and heal at the same time grok now i don't really see a lot of grok maybe damage grok is good but healer grok i don't think it's that good i'm gonna put him in good there's just way better supports out there than grok i don't think he's that viable i think his best role right now is like damage <laughs> it's not really support uh, i would say grok damage is around strong or maybe even very good but uh, support grog eh oh grover now some might argue grover is like op but um i'm kind of leaning more towards very good because i'm saving one support in op and you, you guys might have a guess already grover has so much good heals he's basically healing every time as long as you're in the aoe rages his ult is just crazy even though they have like 90 percent anti-healing your ultimate is still very good his healing output is just crazy io now it's kind of sad to see io falling off this hard i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna have to put her in very hard she got nerfed too much and um she's not that good anymore i'm still seeing some good io players though and they're still very good but the thing is there's just better supports out there than io currently there's literally grover there's lilith like there's so many good champions out there than io don't get me wrong though she's still very playable like you're not gonna throw if you're playing io genos now this might be a surprise for a lot of people but genos is actually one of if not the best supports in this current meta he just 
just got buffed and his buff is crazy. He can literally heal five of his teammates all at once for so long and the mark duration is like so long. Everything about him is just good. His damage is pretty decent. He has a good escape. His ultimate is definitely just really good. He's literally getting first picked. He's getting banned. For so long, Genos is not really that good of a support. And you might even think Genos is like one of the worst supports out there before. But now he's just, oh my god, dude. He's so good. Maldamba now. Maldamba, if you're really good with Damba, then he's like OP or like very strong. But if you're like average Damba, you know what you're doing, but you're not really like the best. I would put him in like in strong. And I have massive respect for Damba players out there. He's just really good. He has good CC. He has good heals. He has good damage. He's the jack of all trades in the support category. Very hard to use though. You definitely need to put some time on him so you can like be good with him. Pip. Now Pip, eh, I would say maybe very good. Maybe if you're a really good Pip player, then you, it might be a little higher. But you have to be like really good with Pip to actually make him viable. I have seen some crazy Pip players though. But they're like a rare kind of players. Like I don't really see them that much. Average Pip players, they're not really like that cracked. I'm gonna put him in very good. He does have a lot going on for him though. He has good slow he has good damage his escape is pretty solid his ultimate is pretty good and you can literally pay him as a damage as well his damage is like pretty good as well Ceres now Ceres uh, in the lower ranks she would be higher but in the higher ranks I'm gonna say like around good she's just a heal bot like her damage is not really like that crazy she can stun now which is really good for her like you could argue she's like B tier now but um I don't know I feel like there's just better supports out there than Ceres she's just one of those beginner friendly champions but other than that I would rather have a group over than Ceres like all the time and her ultimate is also getting countered really easily if you buy resilience but it's still pretty good <clears throat> Jesus Christ I'm losing my voice how how am I losing my voice already a Ying no I would say Ying is around I would say very good the thing is she's kind of like Ceres as well kind of like more like a heal bot but in my opinion Ying is just a lot better than Ceres if you know what you're doing with Ying at least she has good mobility I would say Ying has the best mobility out of all the supports out here if you know what you're doing Ying has the best mobility her heals are crazy in the late game you might struggle a little bit with ying because of the anti-healing but uh, her ult is just too good as well like you can literally teleport to your allies with your ultimate like uh, no matter how far they are the only issue with ying though is like kind of like Ceres. she's just a heal boss she doesn't do a lot of damage unless you're going damage ying but uh, if you're going support ying she doesn't do a lot of damage ray now oof, it's kind of hard to rank this character because she's either good or like very good in my opinion you could argue she's like c tier but her ult is just too good her slow is also very good i would say though her heals are not really the best her ray is only really good if like your allies are like grouped up but if your allies are like all over the place then uh, it's kind of hard to make ray work yeah i'll keep her i'll keep her in very good why not and the last support lilis i want to put her in op but she got nerfed and i don't really think she's like op op anymore you know what fine you could argue she's very good but just for the sake of it i'm gonna put her in op i would definitely still say Lilith is one of the best supports out there. Her ultimate is really really strong. Her heals are crazy. You're like very tanky like you have good sustain as a support. Overall I think she's a very solid champion. Now we're moving on with flanks. I feel like the change for Androxus like the talent it kind of killed him a little bit. Mm, I think I'm gonna put him in strong if you're like really good with him but uh, yeah you know what why not. Yeah he's only really good if you know what you're doing with him. The change for his talent definitely killed him like he, he used to be like S tier but he's still very solid in my opinion like you have reversal still your dashes are pretty good your damage is still pretty good your ultimate is crazy if you know what you're doing mm, buck now i would put buck around very good now buck deals a lot of damage if buck can get close to you it's gg but the problem with buck is that as soon as you like leap on someone for example you jump on someone and you cannot kill them you're dead if you cannot guarantee kill the person then you're just dead because you're stuck in front of their face all of them are just looking at you and you have no more escape it's kind of risky to play him you definitely need to have like a good support maybe or like when to jump the enemy so you need to at least put some time on him to be good with him Eevee now Eevee I would say is one of the best flanks right now so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put her in very good she definitely needs a lot of training though you need to put so much time on on Eevee if you're cracked with Eevee it's gonna be so annoying to deal with you it's gonna be hard to kill you her ultimate is very annoying like dude everything about her is just very strong if you know what you're doing Lex now hmm, I'm gonna put i want to put him in strong actually i feel like lex can actually be very good i feel like lex just deals so much damage dude he deals a lot of damage and i feel like all of his talents are pretty solid as well like you cannot go wrong with any of his talent 
this kind of just depends on your playstyle. Koga, I'm gonna have to put Koga around very good. Koga is very good, but like, I feel like there's just other flanks out there that are just way better at doing his job. Like, he's good, but like, there's just better options out there. And I feel like if you're playing Koga, you need to have like a pocket, like a Genos or a Curvis. And, and I don't really see him that much in ranked as well, especially in higher ranked. Maybe in console, he's good, but uh, in PC ranked, I don't see him that much. Maeve, now I'm gonna put Maeve around Sean. You could argue she could be like very strong, but um, I'm gonna have to put her in A tier. Maeve is just a very solid champion, like you cannot go wrong with Maeve. If they have like a lot of tanky champions, you can go Sir Justice, but I don't really recommend it because let's be honest, you're basically saying you're shit at the game, and I'm not kidding. Cat Burglar is probably her best talent, but Rogue Gambit is just the most fun talent. Overall, she's just very solid, she deals quite a lot of damage, she has good mobility, she has good escape. Moji, now for some people, you might put Moji like in decent, in D tier, but in some maps she can actually be a little bit playable for example like uh what's that map called like ice mines i feel like she can be good there um definitely bright marsh she can be really good she's a very situational pick you cannot just play her like whenever you want if you cannot get close to the enemy you're gonna be useless and in the higher ranks i don't really see her that much maybe in console or like in lower elo maybe she's good but like sky i'm gonna have to say she's probably the worst flank right now she's only really good in the lower ranks and on console in the higher elo i I never as in never see sky she definitely needs a rework or like a buff in my opinion she's just very outdated talus i'm gonna have to put talus in good because i actually think talus is kind of underrated talus has good damage in my opinion his ultimate is very annoying but the problem with talus there's better options out there there's literally just better flanks out there but i would definitely say he's very solid if you know what you're doing with talus you can literally carry your team with talus zin now zin just has everything i'm gonna have to put him in strong dude he can literally he can block a BK ult, he can block a Sky ult, he can block so many things, it's just crazy. He's also not that hard to use, his escape is very solid, his damage is pretty good. If you're new to Paladins, I'll, I'll also recommend him if you want to play flank. He's just a very solid champion in my opinion. Ah, now Vora, this is my main in Paladins. And it's sad to see Vora is not doing that good right now, I'm gonna have to put him very good. Vora is really good in the right hands and maybe in the right matchup. There's just better flanks out there and if they have like double healer for example you're gonna be useless as vora if they have double heals if they're very tanky because they don't have a burst damage literally the meta champion right now is inara how the hell are you gonna kill inara with vora she's just getting out class by everyone like they nerf vora's ult so much like it's not even useful anymore vora's ultimate is literally a worse version of a drogos and a lex ultimate i would definitely say kind of like a situational pick as well i don't think you can first pick vora vatu now i would definitely say vatu is the best flank right now vatu just has so much damage good mobility good ultimate he, he dude correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure he got nerfed a little bit and he's still very strong the way you have three dashes and you can ambush in front of their faces and you have like that stupid bomb a good vatu player you're gonna get bullied dude i'm not even kidding seven i'm gonna have to put seven around very good now seven got nerfed quite a lot he used to be like very strong i don't think he's op anymore he's still very good though uh, don't get me wrong like he can still bully the entire team if you know what you're doing and seven has one of if not the most mobility in the game he can just traverse the map like so fast she also deals a lot of damage which is very annoying and the last flank caspian caspian used to be broken but they nerfed him so hard like i don't even understand what they did to him like they changed his cards and stuff like he's just not good anymore i'm gonna have to put him in very good he can still be like good but like there's better options out there than caspian now they just nerfed him too much like now he's just one of those flanks that are like kind of getting out class maybe he's still good in the right hands but i don't even see him getting picks now in the higher elo so um he definitely got nerfed really hard okay now we're in the last role damage and we're gonna start with bk we're starting off great over here because uh well not really because i hate bk and you know? dude bk is just oh my god i hate bk dude he's just so strong he has good mobility good cc good damage like he just has everything as the damage you definitely need to put some time on him because if you're new with bk you might not you might struggle a little bit but he's always been in the, in the top five best damage like i hate it cassie definitely cassie is really solid now i'm pretty sure she got buff even for some reason she definitely doesn't deserve a buff like i don't know why they buffed her she's just very strong especially if your aim is good you're gonna bully everyone with cassie dredge now i'm gonna put dredge in strong you, you might argue he could be like very strong in some maps but um i'm gonna put him in strong he's just very annoying very hard to catch him with the portal really good damage and a very his ultimate is not the best but it's really 
good to like get him off the payload for example especially in the right map he can be very good Jogos now um Jogos is either strong or very strong I'm gonna have to put him in very strong if you don't have a counter for him it's GG and even if you do have a counter for him I feel like he's still gonna be very good he can fly his damage is crazy his ultimate is a one-shot kill it doesn't matter if, if it's a tank he can one-shot a tank like dude he's crazy Imani now I think Imani is a little bit underrated in my opinion I'm gonna have to put her in good but I definitely think she's underrated kind of like Talus I feel like a good Imani player can carry the team but like I feel like there's just better damage out there than Imani though her ultimate is definitely really good at like pushing them off the pillow for example but a good enemy they can just bully you really easily she's very easy to counter as well you can also buy resilience to counter her like you can also buy bulldozer to counter the dragon so um she's still i feel like she's still underrated in my opinion key nessa in my opinion snipers are just not really doing good in this current meta i'm gonna have to put her in good i don't even think they got nerfed did snipers get nerfed like i don't even think they did can i say it's good in some maps i would say maybe like in frog owl for example and what is that map called a uh, fish market is it called i don't know kind of situational and she's only good if you know what you're doing with Kinesa. if you're like a Kinesa specialist you can be very good with her leanne i'm gonna put leanne um i'm gonna have to put her in very good i feel like leanne is just very solid in my opinion her ultimate is pretty good her damage is pretty good as well she can also counter flanks really easily as well because of your auto aim so she just has everything shalin i'm gonna also put shalin around strong you could argue she may be down maybe very good but i'm gonna have to put him in strong i don't see him that much but if you do see a good shalin player dude shalin deals so much damage he got buff dispatch i'm pretty sure he can deal with anyone he can deal with tanks he can deal with flankers so um definitely a very solid champion tricks now like i said with kinesa i don't think snipers are that good this meta it's the same with kinesa it just depends on the map like they're good in some matchups and some maps but um they're they're not always that good Ty barriers i'm gonna have to put tiberius around i would say a tier tiberius is actually my favorite damage and dude he just deals so much damage he can shred tanks so easily the only problem with tiberius may be the ultimate his ultimate is not the best tyra now i'm gonna oh tyra has to be in very strong dude tyra is just really good right now tyra is definitely really good with the hunting smart talent dude that that talent is just so strong i feel like all of her talents are pretty good though like it kind of just depends on the matchup but uh, her ultimate is good her damage is good dude you cannot go wrong with her victor i'm gonna put victor i'm gonna have to put him in very good he's a very well-rounded champion he has a good damage a good escape good ultimate he's not overpowered he's also like not the worst champion ever vivian Ugh, i don't really like vivian and maybe in some cases she's good but like i'm gonna have to put her in good i don't know i could not think of a reason why vivian would be good like there's literally just tyra there's cassie there's bk why would you literally pick vivian why why she's not even fun to play like i just don't see a reason why you would pick vivian granted she does a lot of damage but in console i would definitely say she's good in console because because of the shield but i'm um, on pc definitely not really the best willow i would definitely put willow around strong you could argue she's very strong in some matchup but um in general i'm gonna put her in strong dude you're literally not getting any healing like the tanks are gonna get bullied the support are gonna get bullied especially if they have two supports if they have two supports you need to instantly pick willow octavia now octavia is very good but i feel like there's just better damage out there i don't even see her that much but i would definitely say if you're good with octavia you can carry your team but um i don't know i feel like there's better options out there and just and i don't really see her that much as well sati now sati got nerfed quite a lot she used to be like op but now she's probably around you know what i'm gonna have to put her in strong for now her ultimate is still very good to like get the easy kills overall she's still a very solid champion quite a lot of damage she can counter flanks really easily berry now i would definitely say berry is a lot better than dredge in my opinion at least so i'm gonna have to put her in very strong literally i can see berry getting banned in ranked sometimes like that's how good she is she has good mobility she has good damage her ultimate is eh, it's kind of all right but uh her damage is just too good you literally cannot touch the point if you're a tank you cannot touch the point you're just gg and the last damage kazumi kazumi got nerfed too much uh i'm gonna have to put her in good i'm actually glad she's not that good right now because she used to be so annoying but now she, i don't even see her that much anymore there's definitely better damage out there than kazumi and um like i said he just got nerfed a lot she's not that good anymore so guys do you guys agree with my two lists comment down below if you guys agree with me or not and of course just a reminder this is only my opinion so do not take this personally well that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time see you